Are you tired of endlessly copying data from one Excel workbook to another? Hi guys, Chris here. Yes, data transfer, copying data from one Excel workbook to another is time consuming, it's prone to error, and it leaves us feeling there must be a better way to do this. And the good news is there is with Excel VBA. In this two video series, I'm gonna take you from absolute beginner level, transferring data from one cell to another, then from one worksheet to another, and then from one workbook to another, at the click of a button. Yes, at a single button click, using Excel VBA and in the second video we're going to get onto some more sophisticated techniques including the actual mechanism that I set up on my Excel VBA development projects. I've just done one today to transfer data from one Excel workbook to another at the click of a button. With that said, let's get into the first session. I'm going to click on this button and I'm just going to establish which macro runs when I click on this button. It's the basic transfer cells macro. So this macro we're going to adjust and we're going to look to do a basic trans data transfer between two cells here. And I know I'm not saying copy. We're not copying the data. This is something different. It's something faster, slicker, more powerful. It's a direct data transfer. So to get started with this, you need your basic concepts, our basic foundational concept, which is right here. This is an A equals B operation. The destination equals the origin. Destination equals the origin. In this case, what's our destination? We want to copy the content of E4 to E5. So E5 is going to be our destination and E4 is going to be our origin. Let's do it with super simple syntax. So our destination cell, which is E5, I'm going to say range E5. I'm going to say dot value, not absolutely necessary at this point, but will become necessary. In fact, that might well be necessary. We'll see. Uh, equals range E4 uh, dot value here. Right, I'm going to put those uh, dot values in so I can see destination cell equals uh, origin cell. It, here's our foundational concepts in, in action. We know this macro is going to run when I click this button. So let's go ahead, click the button, and we can see our text appearing in the cell there. So never believe it first time. Make sure you do some play. You can put whatever value you want in there. And the theme, if you like, of this video is, of course, the uh, Oasis combat. We're going to be looking at Oasis set lists, set lists a bit later in the video. So that's our basic data transfer destination equals origin with transfer data across cells there. OK, next step. Can we now transfer data across sheets? So can we copy the content of E7, that's the blue cell here, to the set list sheet D2? So we're in the first file. And we've got the set list sheet D2. OK, so we want to copy to this cell here. It's not the set list sheet anymore. It's now the intermediate sheet. So this must have got changed uh, during uh, material development at some point. So let's go ahead and change that. And when I click this button, which macro runs? Well, it says the basic transfer sheets macro is running. So if I go ahead and delete this message box code, we're going to do pretty much exactly the same thing. And just to show that we're building on the same concept, I'm going to go ahead and recycle this code. We do, we will do this a few times through this tutorial because typing out file names, that takes a long time. So I'd encourage you to consider some recycling here. So as always, starting with our basic concept, des destination equals origin. So the intermediate sheet D2 is our destination here. So we need to introduce the worksheet concept now. So I'm going to say sheets intermediate dot range and it's d2 here so this being our destination uh, cell reference equals i'm going to say sheets beginner uh, what's our range it's e7 and that's it. So the same concept this time with our worksheets um, included there. OK, so let's put something in here. I'm going to put the test text in here. I'm going to trigger the macro. And now I can see on the interme intermediate sheet, our text has come through there. Take the time to play. Let's get Luna into a video. Always a good thing. 
and that's the intermediate sheet. I can see that data come coming through and you can see already just how smooth, just how quick that uh, data transfer is. It's better than copying data because when you copy data, Excel is going to stay in cut copy mode. You'd have to use a line of code to get out of cut copy mode. This isn't copy pasting. This is direct data transfer, even more powerful, even cooler, in my opinion. Right, are we ready for a step up in difficulty? We've transferred from cell to cell. We've transferred from worksheet to worksheet. Now we're going to transfer from one workbook to another. So make sure you know where your destination workbook is. So I can see this is worksheet workbook two at the top here. So I've got the destination workbook open, going back to our uh, origin workbook here. So can we copy the selected, can we, now this is, these are the intermediate tasks. So copy content of E10 to the destination file, the beginner sheet, cell B4. Okay, so destination file, beginner sheet, cell B4, and we want to copy some data from our origin file into there. So um, before we deal with that, we're going to talk about activating other files. So there's various uh, referencing options and the one I use is the one that I recommend and we're going to go ahead and introduce it now. So this macro here, reference other file name, I'm going to click in this macro. What am I expecting to happen? Well, I can see the name of the destination file here. So I'm expecting this destination file to flash up as the active file. So I can see my cursor is in the macro. I'm going to go ahead, click the play button. We're expecting the active file to change and I can see the active file coming through there. So just take a second because we're moving up a step in difficulty to prove that you can reference other files. If you like, I'm going to click this button. I can see we're in the basic transfer files macro. So we're in this macro here. I'm going to go ahead and delete this test code. And I'm going to use some of the existing code uh, in the file. And once again, it's the same foundational concept, destination equals origin. So this is the name of the destination file. You can see we've got a two. We've got a two at the beginning of the name, if you like, of the uh, destination file. And what's our destination cell? Well, it's the beginner sheet cell B4. So B4 in there. Then it's the beginner sheet. I'm going to go ahead and type in beginner here. And this is our destination workbook destination worksheet and destination cell reference. Now, I've put a space and an underscore here that allows me to continue on a new line. Yes, when we're doing data transfer across files, there can be a lot of code. So being able to manage it in the VBA editor with this kind of little piece of syntax, this is going to be helpful for you. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and just use copy the same line of code down. It's going to save on typing. So the name of the origin file is one Excel VBA move data across files. Then what's the name of the sheet? The name of the sheet is also beginner. And then the range we want to copy from is E10. So I'm going to go ahead, put that information in. Then what are we expecting to happen? Well, whatever's in E10 here, I'm going to type in testing. We're expecting that to begin to appear in the beginner sheet on cell B4. Right. Let's go ahead and run this code and just take a moment to note here, even though the, this file isn't active, it doesn't matter because we've used the full file references here. It doesn't matter which file is active. We're not using this workbook or we're not using active work, but we're using the full file name. So it doesn't matter which file is active here. I'm going to go ahead and hit play and I can see we've got our first uh, error of the session. So let's see what's happening here. Uh, B4 equals workbooks one dot sheets beginner dot range E10 dot value. This, ah, I've just missed out an equal sign altogether. So I'm going to go ahead and put equals in. And let's see if we have more luck here. Going to go ahead, hit play. And I can see testing coming in there. All good stuff. So we just saw one error you might get. Uh, through a syntax error. What if you make another common syntax error? If you misspell the name of the file or you misspell the name of the sheet, what error are you going to get? You're going to get this subscript out of range error and Excel will tell you uh, which line of code is problematic here. So go ahead, um, fix that spelling and then I can hit play. What shall we bring through here? Uh, let's go back to our origin file quickly. And let's say uh, see you in part two. So I will see you on the intermediate level. 
uh, clicked into this macro. I'm going to use the button this time to trigger the macro and hopefully we're seeing that text appearing in our destination file. I can see it right there. Thanks for watching. Leave your questions in the comments and I'll see you in part two.